In this video, I'll be covering using monthly data entry to troubleshoot your calculations and your data. I've already entered a monthly data entry form. And let's say I'm sitting here and my boss comes by and says I want to look at the FTEM ratio. It's not on this form, so what I can do is I can use this button here to insert a column. You can also insert a column by right-clicking and going to Insert Column. This will bring up your variable browser. So if I want to look at my FTEM ratio, I'm going to click on Aeration Basins and find my FTEM ratio and click OK to bring that variable into this form. There's my data. The boss says, let me see what is it month to date. What I can do is I can right click on the block of cells that I've highlighted and go to Data Summaries and get Block Stats. And this will show me the average and the min and the max for the cells that I have highlighted look at this data right here, this data point, it seems a little low, lower than we'd expect. So why did that occur? Well, first of all, I can look at the formula here. If I double click on it, it brings it up in English so that I can read out that, okay, I use my primary effluent BOD load and I'm using my volatile suspended solids times the number of basins that I have online. So it's like, well, one of those things might be off, but which one is it? So what we have is the ability to list the inputs into the equation so that you can troubleshoot. And again, I can get to this in one of two ways. I can right click and go to insert calc inputs and dependencies, list inputs right here. I can also use a button called right here, a shortcut called list the equation inputs. So I look here and I don't quite have the full story. If I click on this cell, again, it's calculated. So let's go ahead and list the inputs there. What I see is I get a, a BOD that's a little lower than normal. So maybe I call over to the lab and they say, no, the number is actually uh, 189 for that day. Since I'm a, I have the rights, I can edit that data. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go in and change the number. Go ahead and refresh or recalc the variables on this form. And my F to M ratio changes. I can also click on a cell and say, well, who entered that data, who edited that data, and who maybe made that data entry error. So we have something called audit information. So it keeps the full trail of data. And what I see is that Barry entered that 169, and then obviously I and logged in as super have just edited that data. So I get the full story of all the data points that I'm looking at. I can also drill down into daily detail variables. So here we have a variable raw flow hourly. And what it does is it's showing me the average for my hourly entries. I enter it each hour. I have 24 entries for the day. If I double click on this cell, it will pop up and allow me to see all the raw numbers that go up to make the average for the day of 2.613. I can scroll through that data shows me all of that. I can also look at any point, again, if we want to get a longer term trend or see this data in a graph, if I click on that column, I have a series of buttons and things I can do, and one right here is to display a quick trend graph. So I go ahead and click that, and it's going to show me for October what my trend is. I can go back month to month, or just like with all the other places in WIMS, if you click on the date control here, I can go in and pick dates and say I want to go from August all the way through October and I got a longer term trend. If I want to go back and look at that data I can also just use the basic date control and monthly data entry to toggle back and forth. Now one last thing is I've, I've edited this form, I've added columns in, I've, I've made a lot of changes. If I have the rights I can save this layout and keep this, or if I exit, these columns will disappear out of this form. So I can use this to troubleshoot, kind of do one-time troubleshooting work without messing up the form so the next time the operators get in or somebody, all these columns are added in. That's it for using monthly data entry to uh, troubleshoot your data and your calculations. Thank you.